Welcome back this morning to Exodus. We're in chapter 2, verses 23 to 25 now. Let's see what it says. Now it came about in the course of those many days that the king of Egypt died, and the sons of Israel sighed because of the bondage, and they cried out. And their cry for help because of their bondage rose up to God. So God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God saw the sons of Israel, and God took notice of them. And the margin says, and he knew them, yada. So we've been noticing that Moses is living in the desert now. He has a wife, he has a, he has a child. So there's some family years going on, and many years are going by. But, you know, the, going, the passage of those years doesn't lessen the oppression of the Egyptians. They are still oppressed, and it goes even worse. And now the Pharaoh that was alive when Moses uh, fled, he's, he dies, and yet the Egyptians are still pressing down on the Hebrew people. And God hears their prayers. There were some among the Hebrews who were turning to God and saying, Oh God, please help. Look at what's happening to us. And God is working his own plan. He's going to bring a deliverer, a deliverance. But God is on his timetable. Many times our timetable and his differs. But his, I found, is always better. And uh, But notice that there's several verbs here about what God does, right? God heard their groaning. God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God saw the sons of Israel, and God took notice, or he knew them. I mean, this is indicating this word is, this is the word we have back in Genesis, where Adam and Eve, they get together, and uh, they knew each other. You know, they had sexual relations and all the other relations, a, a, all the relations a husband and a wife have. So, yada is a very close and intimate meaning, oftentimes, and so here we have uh, God is, is very close to his people, although they're oppressed and pressed down, and it looks like, well, God's on vacation. God's not on vacation. He never, he's never on vacation. But he's working a time that's going to be the best for his grand purposes. All right, so there we have it. God is paying close attention. He, they are very closely under God's watch, and he is hearing their prayers Maybe you think sometimes, well, I've been praying a long time and there's no answer. Well, how do you know there's no answer? God is perhaps in the very process of answering, but he's going to answer your prayer in the way that's best. Best for you, best for the kingdom, and best for other parties. So have patience with God. He has all knowledge. You don't. I don't. And he is answering in the best way. So let's trust him. Trust him day by day. He will come through. But our part is to cry out and lean upon his mighty hands. Let's see what happens next tomorrow morning. God bless.